Greetings and welcome to a video log. Now you might have noticed there hasn't been a video log for a while. A uh, few reasons. One, there were criticisms of the previous video logs and they put me off doing them but then I realised there's lots of people who do like the video logs so I've decided to do the video logs for the people who do like the video logs. The second reason why there's been not a delay of getting a video log is framing of the picture always difficult uh, as you can see I've got my camera like that so you can see me but always I'm too high up now, even when I put the phone high on a big stool I'm always too high why the only reason why I can is to go down like that and squeeze down so I'm not so high but that's very tricky for the back so that's another reason why I haven't been so many video logs. So during this video log, I'll try to go low, but I'll also go high sometimes, because that's better for my back. And another reason why I haven't had the video logs is clothing. I always think, well, I ought to put on my best clothing. But anyway, for the purposes of this video log, I've decided to wear these casual house garments, including this stylish, uh, jersey from the Botanical Garden of Cacti in Arizona. Now, uh, let's uh, start off with a few thoughts I've had about online dating and a few translations. When you read things on online dating, uh, you sort of think, what does it mean? Well, up for the crack basically is a pretentious way of saying would be theoretically prepared to have a good time. One of the lads means nothing. In fact, nearly all these things that I'm going to read out basically mean nothing. One of the lads, I mean, all men on the planet are one of the lads, so more, nothing. Here's another stupid thing people say on online dating. I enjoy night out with my friends and also there's nothing better than an evening in. So that basically means I'm open to spending time both inside and outside the house. I'm genuine, looking for same. I've just written here as a translation, well it's not really a translation, it's just more of a thought. A genuine what exactly? What does that say about the standards to which we hold ourselves if being a bona fide human being is seen as a positive? I mean, if that's the best thing you can say, I'm genuine, not good. Love life. Is that a command or something you like to do? But the point I want to make is if you write love life, that's not something you need to write down. We all love life. Otherwise, the fact that we're here is proof of our continued existence that we love life. You don't need another one they write down, not necessary. Work hard, play hard. Yeah. We all do that. Thanks. Uh, let's meet and see where it goes. Which is, that's all we can do. That is literally all we can do is to meet and see where it goes. So thanks once again, people on the online dating for writing another meaningless thing. Now, a couple of other thoughts before I go. You might be wondering what I do a lot of the time. You may think it's a lot of glamorous show business things. Not all. Some things very boring and administrative. For example, it is now the law that all employers, including me, have to have a pension scheme. But it's brilliant. Not only is it all a lot of admin and a palaver uh, for my employee to have a, be on a pension scheme, but also I got an email recently about this uh, declaration you have to do about the pension scheme. This is just a wonderful example of civil servants who love admin, just like admin people, just doing more and more admin. Anyway, you have to start filling in the form by the 1st of January. You must start filling in the form by that date, according to the email. But you must, f you cannot finish the form until after the 1st of April. So you must start before January, but then you can't actually finish. You've got to say, you've got to do it in different, you start the form and then three months later, you may finish the form. Brilliant. Some other thoughts. People who are a bit fat always say, 
Oh, you know, put some, when they see people who are thin, they will say, oh, put some meat on those bones. Well, what I want to say is, do you mean fat? Because, like, meat is muscle. Do they mean fat? Like them, when they say that. Oh, you need to be like me. Put some meat on those bones. They haven't got meat on the bones. They've got fat on the bones. Now, also, on the subject of fat people, and I mustn't say it because I know people will criticise me for commenting on fatness, but when you go to a spa, sometimes, like, you know, when it's one of those ones where you have, like, a massage and then it's, like, sauna, jacuzzi and all that stuff, uh, well, basically, there's a few thin, fit people, but mainly what I would describe as beached whales. Now, what let's talk about now a few different jobs, uh, driving jobs, and which are more macho. Now, obviously the macho one, the pilot, that's a very of a plane, very uh, macho, jet fighter, pilot, couldn't be more macho than that, or a roar of the engines. Uh, others, perhaps less so. Um, what about a bus driver? Not so macho. The only time you can really rev the engine is like if you're going down a hill and then like you're struggling because the brakes don't work properly. So you're struggling to slow, the, slow it down as you get towards the bottom of the hill and then you like put it into second gear and it goes... Rrrr! That's the only macho time for a bus driver. What about a boat captain? Um, like if it's like a ferry, that's not so macho, but there is the macho bit when you're actually docking, it's like as it like gets close to docking, that's the only macho type. Motorbike is quite macho with all the noise, but it's also tragic, you know, like that going like past the school in a 20 mile an hour zone, 70 miles an hour in your Harley Davidson, absolutely tragic and bicycle worse. I mean, that's not macho. Well, it's kind of macho in a kind of like, oh, I'm in Lycra, cycling really fast, and I've all got sweat all pouring down my thighs. But no, it's not a good macho. Finally, I wanted to say, well, there's all different religions in the world, and there's a lot of arguments all the time, as we know, about which one is correct. And I wanted to say, supposing it was Buddhism and Hinduism or one of those which was correct and there was reincarnation, but supposing you got a Christian reincarnated as a Muslim, that would be quite devastating, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's the end of this video log. I hope you've enjoyed the video log and please tell me what you think of it and I will do another video log very soon and there won't be such a delay before the next video log because now we're back in the groove.